Sometimes you get the bear. Sometimes the bear gets you. This morning I'm sitting in the, um, the drive through line from one of my local, my favorite local Mexican eateries. Getting my uh, breakfast burrito, number 24. And um, I'm a little hungover. We had a lot of fun last night at two separate parties. And I am feeling it today. The bear definitely got me. So, my drink right now is rock star. Not quite feeling like a rock star. But, uh, I'll get a burrito in me, some good greasy food. And we'll be rambling on once again. Until then, the cold at my luna. Take care, guys. So I'm done licking my wounds and crying in my rock star. And today we're going to head out and go to uh, pick your part or pick and pull or whatever the, the local um, self serve. Um, junkyard is and try to find a center console for this thing and uh, I want to take you along with me so let's get this party started A lot of sun glare. Let me shade it. So, I've been doing this for a number of years. You know, going to the, the junkyard, checking things out. It's amazing the stuff that you'll find. Even little odds and ends that you might pick up in one of these yards. One of the tips I got to give you is don't bring your tools when you first go in. Go in, scope it out, see if there's things you want. Um, and if so, then go back outside and get your tools. There's nothing more disappointing than lugging around like a 50-pound toolbox in the heat over crappy-ass rutted ground to uh, only find out any shit that you want. So that said, let's uh, let's uh, go inside and go check things out. I'll bring you all along. Place, or the thing about this place is they just they got a ton of cars I mean these these are actually functioning running cars that you could pick up you know if you if you're looking for a cheapie just to get around um, a minivan 1499 nice little Chevy pickup for 1200 this one got a camper 1700 bucks you can't beat that you know even if you you drive it for a couple thousand miles. It's worthwhile. So, to give you an idea, this is basically what I'm looking for today. Um, a center console that will flip up and be a seat. But, I definitely want one in better condition than what this thing is in. It's a little chewed up and it's also the wrong color. So, we'll keep on looking. There are lots of trucks here. Check out this little treasure. TV, probably an ice box, not a fridge. Captain's chairs in the back. Everything's crushed velour. And I bet it had one of those automatic beds or bench seat that folds down into a bed in the back. And nice little rig. Oh, sink up there. Everything. Somebody's shagging wagon. Something crazy. What the heck was this thing? Looks like it folded all the way back up against the ceiling. That'd be an interesting uh, basis for 
a bed in a van. Looks like it might have been electric too. Nope, it's all spring driven. I like this little note in the back. Where is it at? Get it in a the frame there, Palmer. Logic doesn't produce magic. Well, that's illogical. So, I found a couple. A couple of them, right about the same condition. Like this one here. Um, it's got a little blem. Do some of that, that iron-on uh, upholstery repair. And the hinges work. And it closes. And flipped up to be a third row seat. Or a third seat in the front row. Now, I need to go measure. And bring back tape and a couple tools. Probably right now the biggest gating condition for me is going to be price. Is it a center console? Is it a center seat? Is it a console and a seat? And what the hell is it going to cost me? So let's go do some some arithmetic. It's another example of you never know what you're going to find in one of these joints. Um, they aren't the optimal bed, but they're a good platform to start with. This is one of those bench seats. You lift it up, pull it out, and it becomes a bed. Obviously, you could redo the foam, use the same frame, and you got yourself a bed that quickly transforms. If I could do this one-handed. No. <laughs> quickly transforms right back into a bench seat. Great, great deal if you're just starting out um, living in your van. Well, that's one thing about this. You gotta do it on your own. And don't nobody said it was gonna be easy. Sorry about the wind noise. Um, Another tip, when you come out here, don't be a big dummy like me. Carry gloves. These things are filled with just some nasty shards of safety glass. And I probably got all over in my arm and hand right now. But it's just something to remember. You're working in this. Um, try to avoid the the cuts if you can so what was all that work about check that out it ain't a perfect match of course it's coming out of the Dodge I just have it sitting in there but take a look at that this guy a little tight but you flip up and Basically, I have a little spot for the dog to sit or whatever. That's pretty damn cool. I'm happy. Uh oh, dropping crap. Anyhow, I'm happy. I will get that set up, build a frame for it, and stick it in there. That'll be awesome. Oh, the other cool part. Fold this guy down and. It's got a tray for all my crap. So, now that that's all done, I'm going to go find me some running water and uh, clean up and get some of the glass out of my arm and hand and uh, try to find a way to clean up the seat a little bit. I'm not going to mount it permanently just yet because I want to build some rails or some frame support underneath it to make it so it can quickly detach and be reinstalled. Because of where it sits, it will interfere with the removal of the doghouse that sits over the top of the engine. And I'll, it, you know, 
somewhere down the road I will be needing to do something in a hurry on the motor um, it is a 1992 so I don't want to be stuck sitting there unscrewing bolt after bolt after bolt to remove the, the center seat I want to have some sort of quick disconnect pin system that would allow me to pop the pins pull the seat out it's it's not going to be a seat that anybody sits in it uh, other than my dog more than likely it's just going to be a center console and when it folds down um, it creates a, a flat area all the way across from driver's seat to passenger seat that can become uh, an additional bed for my son when we go camping so that's it for now I'll uh, keep you updated and, and get another video out whenever I get it completed and you guys can see how that would work as an additional sleeping area and uh, it'll be it'll be a little more cleaned up and prettier uh, until then keep rambling on take care guys <laughs>